We have produced a network that's been privately funded and built on love and built on sacrifice and determination. And so we've had to find a very flexible business model, which has meant we have very few employees, we don't have an office because that's an overhead, we work from home in a virtual way, and we, um, and we use suppliers rather than employees. So what we've learned is a modern day way of creating a company. And because we have a network that we can go inside the network into the community to find the skills, we have learned that if you are a part of an ecosystem or a network, if you're all part of that and you understand each other's values, it's not very difficult to find the right suppliers. We don't have to teach people what Academy is when we ask them to do work for us. So what that's taught us is a business model we can teach our members to have. So, you know, people, I think, there was a vanity of, I've, I'm a managing director of a company and I've got 40 employees and an office and a nice desk. That's an overhead that you don't have to have nowadays. And it allow, this business model allows you to be very flux, flexible. And it allows Thomas and I to spend all of our time meeting our customers and meeting our members rather than managing utilities and people and human resources and paying tax to the government for employing people. And we now know that that's the model moving forward for people. In, in the UK, there are four and a half million small businesses, but three and a half million of them are solo entrepreneurs running a company with just one person. And they're using a contract method. They're, using, so they're bringing skills in when they need them. Rather than paying for 40 hours a week for an accountant, they're bringing the accountant in when they need them. So skills are getting very niche. Rather than having a marketing manager, you have somebody that's good at search engine optimization, somebody who's good at branding, somebody who's good at website. You don't ask one person to be good at everything. You have to learn how to niche your niche and fit like a jigsaw into other people's organisations and have many, many clients rather than one employer. But I think to answer your question, we've learned a lot of this on the way. Mm. On the journey. Not much of everything we've learned, we've learned. We've been doing this 12 and a half years. So. And Glenn Watkins, our CEO, is phenomenal. He's phenomenal. He's phenomenal He's just... at understanding how to manage resources like that. Absolutely phenomenal. If it wasn't for Glenn, it would have been too impossible. Because his and if you if you time. if you analyse it, there's there's over half a million members, but there's only five employees. But as Penn says, there's probably two hundred suppliers. Well, in an old model, they would be two hundred employees. And a big office. And a big office. But now they're all suppliers, five employees, and half a million members. So it's and a completely different model. And these it's much four... more like an ecosystem, mm -hmm. an ecology and... system. Do you feel that this way, um, because in, in your book you, you, you have several examples of uh, how um, people self-employed or even working in a place uh, but working there for themselves um, provide a better service. Do you feel that uh, your suppliers are providing you a better service yes. than you could have if you had uh, 100, 1,000 employees yes. or, or anything. Absolutely. Yeah, much better. Because we're a client. They are a supplier, we're a client. But also, because they're a client, we're a, they supply us and we teach them stuff and they teach us stuff. So when they go off to their five or six other companies that they supply, um, they can pass that knowledge on and we learn constantly from our suppliers whereas if we have employers, employees, it's our responsibility to keep on nurturing and, and, and developing them and training them but actually what these people do is they're constantly um, learning from us and passing that knowledge on and bringing knowledge back to us.